I got signed to Atlantic Records. He introduced me to my manager Blue. He, Blue managed Outcast, and so Blue Blue wanted to take me on board, and so he took me out to New York City and introduced me to record labels. And I got signed with Atlantic, and now I got my my single out. On my mind is pretty much the um, is the single. I'm the first single from the album, and it's kind of like displaying my new kind of sound. I guess it's a little um older than say I A I. So I think you know as I mature. As, as a person, you know, and as a teenager, I think my music just does that naturally with me, and I think my fans grow up with me as well, you know what I mean? And um, I'm working a lot with my acoustic guitar, just writing about my life, pretty much, and, um, you know, converting that into music and melody and stuff. I can't wait for you to hear the album. I'm very excited. I haven't been more excited about anything, I don't think, ever, so... Yeah, stoked and go check it out and hopefully see you on tour. Um, I just I actually just left my record label. Everyone's like, Cody got dropped. And I was like, I didn't get dropped. I, I actually, it took me um, about six months to kind of finally like um, have them like let me go and move over um, somewhere else, um, which I can't really say where I'm going yet. But um, I'm moving labels and uh, you know, I'm just going over to a team where, you know, it's going to let me kind of just like be creatively free and, and be the artist that, that I've always wanted to be in that, you know, obviously it's been difficult growing up in the industry, you know, I got signed on my 13th birthday. And kind of was like being, uh, you know, um, sort of shown in a light that wasn't really, you know, like who I am kind of thing. Yeah. I think some of the stuff that you might have seen earlier on the thing, um, you know, sort of like just started becoming so manufactured and weird and that's like the total opposite of who I am. So oh. I had to just kind of like be like peace and just. I'm writing a lot about, about um, the kind of development of a, a growing man, um, developing your own sort of personal philosophies, ideologies, perspective on the world and everything, just kind of really trying to, to sort of understand myself. I had all these kinds of song ideas I wanted to bring together, but I thought that they would only make sense as, um, you know, as uh, what this is now and, and, and to be brought to life by guys as great as uh, Reef and Adrian here um, and, and the whole Tide project. It's, it's a very, um, you know, it's a very uh, special thing to me. It's very sacred to me, and, and I'm, I'm really happy to be doing it with these boys. I've always played the guitar. I've always had a um, real kind of affinity for the guitar. It was the first instrument I learned to play. It's the only instrument I play. Um, but I wanted to focus on it a little bit more. And, um, you know, I'd always played it. It had always been a part of my music, but I'd never, uh, I'd never kind of honed in on it um, uh, as a musician and really kind of, um, I guess, cultivated the skill. Um, so that was a big part of it, I think, and um, just growing up and all of that. Yeah, it's living a dream, man. I swear, you know, I get to I get to do all the things that that I dreamed of when I was a little boy. So yeah.